Google Ads recently released one of their most unique and interesting programs to date. And there are various reasons why I think this specific new update Google came about with can be so beneficial for us and why it's so useful to even have in the first place. Now, before we actually get into the specific thing I'm talking about, one thing you want to understand is Google has basically been on a big spree, just giving about update after update within these past few summer months. And when I'm recording this video, it is June 24th which is when this new scorecard experience is pretty much already fully out for majority of the e-commerce stores. Now, there's a lot of talk as to why Google is doing this. Some say that Google does not want to be the next Facebook ad and does not want to kind of harm its users by just having these massive policies come about all of a sudden due to some policy violation strikes. And others say that this is just a way for Google to kind of make everything more automated for us advertisers and make it more seamless for us to actually get out and find these potential customers which are ideal for our business but regardless of what the case is personally I'm really enjoying these updates because a lot of these are very useful now on my screen is the specific update which this video is about it is called the shopping experience scorecard program let's find out a little bit more about this program before we kind of understand how to even implement this in the first place so First things first, when you go ahead and implement this program through your Google Merchant Center and the steps are very simple, you are eligible for two different things. Number one thing you're eligible for is a special badge on your listing that improves the user's trust in you. Now, think of those days back in middle school or back in elementary school when your teachers would give you a badge for being an A-plus student. This is exactly what it kind of feels like. And in elementary school, if you had that A-plus badge on your chest, a lot of kids would kind of look up to you they would think very highly of you because you were a student same thing in this case but we're not getting any kind of a plus badges unfortunately but we are getting a special trusted store badge that Google gives to us but that's not the only thing you're eligible for sure that trust badge definitely increases a lot of trust other consumers have in you and as a result it's gonna definitely improve your conversion rates but the main benefit that comes from this is that you get prominence in placements with shopping ads now to put this in simple terms this means your ads will be favored more than somebody else just because of the sheer fact that you are a trusted store and you went through the shopping experience scorecard program so you don't have to pay a penny more for that in fact your cost most likely will start to go down once you get yourself implemented within the scorecard program and once everything does end up getting verified so it's like two things in one very beneficial because again you're going to be paying less for those link clicks now and people are going to trust you whoever does end up coming on your website they will be more inclined to buy from you so less pay for google ads and more conversion rates for you it's a double win-win situation and there is no reason why you shouldn't have this but let's kind of read a little bit further into this program to get an overall general idea of what exactly it is so as it says right here on google's support website the program will monitor the experience you provide to customers in several different areas not just one area but several different areas all related to some kind of customer service in some way shape or form number one thing shipping speed obviously nowadays that's why i mentioned you can no longer be shipping anything from china because you do want to be eligible for things like these and in order to even sell it with google long term you need to be making sure you're placing priority on things like these so shipping speed number one thing that's why it's also written number one here by the way number two shipping cost now this don't kind of misinterpret this and think that just because it says shipping cost means that you need to have as little shipping cost as possible and don't do free shipping on all orders just because it's it says this it's not necessarily going to make too big of a difference sure you might be given a little bit of a different rating but nonetheless you still want to be focusing on your profits and it's not really going to hamper your result that you get with google ads because this program was designed to make it easier for you to get even more results so again keep things very competitive keep things in line so shipping costs whatever you have i do recommend you stick to that return cost is something you can definitely work on so for now if you do charge for returns maybe you want to just put free sh return shipping for certain cases like if the item arrived damaged and things like that and return window if you do like one day return window only or seven day maybe change it to 14 day maybe even 30 day depends on your business but it's definitely going to help you with this because the next thing which is the most important is 
what kind of rating you get. You can either get an excellent rating, you can get a comparable rating, and you can get an opportunity rating. So you don't necessarily need to kind of be having all of these things in place. Like I mentioned, if you can't really change your shipping costs, keep it like that. Anything above comparable is really good to have. And of course, you'll get excellent if everything across the board is very good. But there's a very good chance you'll still end up getting excellent even if you have majority of these things right. Now, moving on to the next thing. It says, there's nothing you need to do to sign up. Your progress will be monitored automatically and benefits will be applied to your offer once you meet a certain performance threshold. But again, don't misinterpret this. You still need to do a few setting changes on the Google Merchant Center side in order to even have your ads be eligible for something like this. And for best practices, you do want to make sure, as Google says right over here, that you are submitting all of the information required to receive the badging on your listing. So if you don't have any specific listings or you're missing something, that's gonna basically lead you to not getting these badges. So the main goal as to why we wanna even do this in the first place is to receive that badge. So there's a lot of things that you can look into here and it tells you more information. I will leave the link in the description below if you guys want to, just let me know down in the comments for this specific page. But let's move on to the Google Google Merchant Center and get right into the meat of this video, which is actually signing up for the scorecard experience. Now, for a majority of the e-commerce brands, you should see it on the Google Merchant Center homepage, meaning the overview section, like I do right over here, it says your shopping experience scores, and it says it's missing two metrics. But if you don't see this, don't worry, go to the growth section on the left side, and it's the last option, which says shopping experience scorecard. So all you want to do is click on it. Now, Whatever I just told you right now, it basically says the same thing right over here. Trusted store badge, ranking boost in the shopping tab. Obviously, both are very good to have, and that is something that we want to have. But here is what it's going to tell you based on the data your store already has. So first things first, average delivery time for this specific e-commerce brand. It does say the average delivery time is two days. Average shipping cost is basically zero dollars for this specific brand, which is a client's e-commerce brand under my Google Ads agency, Yoru Marketing. And we're actually rolling out these scorecard experience signups across all of our clients. But if you're doing $30,000 or more in sales and you need some extra help scaling with Google Ads, go on to my website at yorumarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can potentially work together. But this specific e-commerce brand does offer free shipping, hence why it's zero dollars. Average return window, as you can see, some of the things were just recently updated here. So we have already done this yesterday, but because Google Merchant Center has not really captured that, it just says that it's not fully done. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the overview section and we're just gonna click view right over here again to show you that it's gonna take you to the same page. Once you're on this page, however, you want to now go ahead and click on setup because the next step for you is to basically start setting all of these things up. And it might take you to this page or it might take you to some other kind of setup page. Regardless of what it is, the main goal of this is to make sure you have your return policies in place. So if you are on this page and you see that there is no return policy here, and by the way, wherever you're currently advertising, I do recommend that you do add these return policies. Like right now for this account, we are selling in Australia, US and Canada. So that's why we have three, but let's assume we didn't have these. So let's go ahead and set it up. So what we would do is we would click on add return policy and then you would choose that specific country what you want to add that return policy for so for example for this account what we're gonna do is we're just gonna set up United Kingdom because it didn't already have that and we're gonna click next once you do that it will actually tell you to give them the link to the return policy on your website this is exactly why it's so important for you to make sure all of the return policies, refund policies, et cetera, et cetera, are all properly set up. Because again, Google Merchant Center is gonna be requiring all of these from now on. You will not be able to advertise, or even if you are approved, you will end up getting suspended if you don't have these things. So for the sake of this example, I'm just gonna copy a random URL and just paste it right over here and go ahead and click I accept returns because you should be accepting returns. And I click next and then it says, how can customers return your product? So your step here should be by mail. And now it will take you to this pop-up right here, which says, how will customers get their return labeled? So there are two different options here for defective products, for customer remorse. Now, again, it's up to you as to how your store handles this. For defective products, we normally take care of returns. So it would be the in the box or download and print for us because we are gonna be supplying them the return label through email. We're just gonna say download or print. Second one for customer remorse, this is if they are unsatisfied or whatever the case might be. In this case, it's a customer responsibility. So we choose that and click next. And now it says, how many days do customers 
customers have to return a product. Again, this number really matters. So if your number is like a one, it's not gonna look really good with Google. So you wanna make sure it's above seven. I do recommend 14. So in this case, we're gonna write 14. And by the way, make sure this number is reflected on your website because you don't wanna get suspended for misrepresentation. Because if you write 14 here, but then Google crawls through your website and policies and it says seven days there, that's gonna be called misrepresentation. So don't come crying to me later that you got disapproved after trying this because that's what's gonna happen. But once you do that, click our add return window extension. If you do offer any extensions based around holidays, we don't, so we're just gonna click next. And now it says select the product conditions you'll offer returns. We always choose new, click next again. And now the currency that applies to the policy. So whatever the local currency is in this case, this is the United Kingdom. So we're gonna choose Great Britain pounds and the restocking fee. There's not gonna be a restocking fee and the customers pay for return shipping. So it's basically the actual cost of return shipping. Then click next. And now once everything is set up properly here, what you would do is you would click done. Now I'm not gonna do this because we don't really sell for the UK within the store. So I'm just gonna click cancel. But once you click done, you will be taken to this page and you should see that policy come up here. So once you see that policy come up here, you should be definitely be good to go. There's nothing really else that you need to do on that end. But there are other things that you can look into here. If for example, it says that delivery times are too long, then it might say something like fix up your delivery times and it will say set up delivery time. So you want to click on that. But here everything is properly set up. If you click set up now, it's really going to just keep on taking you to this page. So once you are done with this, you're basically good to go. Now Google is going to start monitoring your website. It's going to go through these policy pages because again, remember Google, it's not like a person sitting behind a computer reading through your policy pages. It's the algorithm working. So the algorithm needs to go through everything. It needs to read these policy pages and then understand your rules, regulations, and then connect it to theirs and see if your store qualifies for it. But what I want to do is I want to take you to over to a Google search for one of the e-commerce brands, which we currently work with. This is one of our Google ads agency clients under again, my agency, your marketing, and they have already set up the trusted store badge. So in action, this is essentially how it looks like you get this cool blue colored trusted store badge, like you would get on a verified Instagram, YouTube, or Facebook page, very similar to that. And of course it's going to make you kind of stand out of the crowd because if we, for example, tap in a word like 3d printer and we look at the stores coming up here as you can see majority of the stores really don't have it best buy does bnh photo video audio store does so it obviously helps it stand out of the crowd like for example amazon even doesn't have it yet so that tells you just the sheer impact of having this blue colored badge you are on the level of best buy bnh photo video audio and also of course amazon because amazon doesn't have that right now so it really is useful to do this one of the most important programs google merchant center has again released to this date and i highly recommend you take advantage of it but again if you're doing thirty thousand dollars or more in sales you need some extra help scaling your e-commerce brand to the next level go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and book a free call with me to see how we can make that happen but if you find any type of value in this video be sure to destroy that like button and be sure to subscribe if you haven't and i will see you in my next video